All right, welcome back. In this video, I just want to quickly go over what voltage is. So voltage is the amount of potential energy available per unit charge. We define it as V is equal to dW dQ, where V is what we have for volts. dW is referring to energy, this is in joules. And Q is uh, referring to charge in coulombs. So ultimately, voltage is kind of like an expression of potential energy per unit charge. Um, and in a circuit, it's always going to be measured between two points. So if we draw a battery here, let's say we have a, a simple voltage source and it's going to be, let's say, three volts. This would be the positive terminal on the top and the negative terminal on the bottom. This is how we draw batteries in circuit diagrams then basically what we have is the positive terminal of the battery is going to have a voltage that is three volts higher than the negative terminal of the battery. And if we connect a conducting material like a wire to this terminal, um, then everything that we connect with that wire or that whole wire itself basically is going to be considered to be electrically common to the positive terminal. So this whole wire that we have attached here is going to be three volts higher than the negative terminal of the battery. Now we can do the same on the bottom by just connecting a wire to that and this whole entire wire on the bottom is going to be 3 volts less than this whole entire wire on the top. So if we labeled some points on here, let's just say we have point A and B, then we would say that the voltage of A is 3 volts higher than B, so we write VAB is equal to 3 volts. If we wanted the voltage of B with respect to A, we would say that that's VBA, and it's three volts less, so we have a negative three volts. But ultimately, when we're talking about voltage, because it is kind of um, relative based on the, the two different points, um, we would say that VAB is going to be equal to the negative of VBA. It's similar to you know potential energy of like lifting a mass uh, up a certain height. You know, if you had like a mass and you lift it up, it increases its potential energy. And the, you know, from the perspective of its higher height, it has a positive potential energy. But if you were to lower it, the lower value of its potential energy would be like less than the previous one. So it would be considered negative with the same magnitude. Now, this voltage drop is going to exist whether the circuit is connected or not. Right now it's an open circuit because there's a break here. But if you wanted to, you could connect it with a resistor that we usually draw on with a zigzag line like this. And when we connect it with a the resistor, then current is actually going to be able to flow. We consider positive current to flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So we would label that on going this way. And a useful analogy for understanding circuits at the beginning is like to in pretend instead of charge flowing down a wire, that we have basically water flowing down a pipe. And so if current is synonymous to flow of water in the pipe, then voltage would be synonymous to basically like the pressure that's kind of forcing it through the circuit. But yeah, let's draw another circuit here with three resistors. And let's say that the voltage drop is known. So we have three volts, two volts, and four volts. Um, you're also going to see a lot of circuit diagrams with little plus and minus signs as well. Uh, this refers to the passive sign convention of circuits, but we'll talk about that in a later video about the passive sign convention. But for now, if we just label on a few points, let's say we have A, B, C, and D, then if we want to check the voltage drop across each of these resistors or between each of these points really, we would say like the voltage drop from A to B is VAB is just equal to three volts. Same from B to C. VBC is just equal to two volts. And then from C to D, we have VCD, which is be equal to four volts. Now we could also check the voltage drop from let's say point A to point C. So we'd have VAC, and that would just be equal to actually the sum of these voltages. Because if we drop three volts and then we drop another two, we're basically dropping a total of five volts from point A to C. We could check from point v, uh, B to D as well. And then we'd drop two volts and then four volts. So that would be a total of six volts. And then we could even check from, let's say, point A all the way to D. And we'd have three plus two plus four, which would give us VAD of total of nine volts. 
And that's actually not a coincidence that this is nine volts and the battery is nine volts as well because all of the voltage drops should basically equal the amount that the battery is contributing. So yeah, that's just really quick introduction to voltage. Um, just remember that it is basically the amount of potential energy available per unit charge and it's sort of synonymous to pressure if you are imagining the circuit to be like a, a water pipe network instead. But yeah, um, I think we'll leave it at that for now and I'll see you in the next video and we'll talk about power.